Hey folks, uh, now that we're really close to the end of this semester, it's time for me to kind of wax philosophical. Really, I just want to take a couple of moments and explain kind of the thinking behind Project 4, and in a sense, the thinking behind the entire course. And so in Project 4, I'm really asking you to uh, take a few moments and to reflect on those uh, skills and concepts uh, that you see can be valuable for you. And so uh, for me, this is incredibly important. And I don't think that this is the sort of thing that often happens in a lot of classes. That is, I think that often at the end of a semester, uh, we're busy uh, preparing for a cumulative exam, or we're busy kind of finishing off the last chapter of a book, and we don't give ourselves time to kind of push that metaphorical pause button and think about how a course can be made meaningful for the individual students in the course. Uh, and in a sense, uh, this gets at kind of a bigger goal uh, of a course like this one. Uh, when I designed this course, uh, I did not design this course uh, such that we would only work on skills that would turn students into just better students. Uh, and what I mean by that is that I'm also I'm always fascinated by the idea that we take courses so that we can learn skills that are going to necessarily pay off in the next course that we're going to take so that we can learn skills that are necessarily going to pay off in the next course. And that's kind of what I'm getting at here when I, I draw this line and I put school, school, school. It's as if courses in school exist so that you can continue in school. And in a sense, we did some of that stuff, right? We talked about some of these skills that will help you along, kind of MLA formatting and the generic framing of an essay. Uh, you remember that that rhetorical analysis assignment was very much coupled with uh, the transfer exam that you may have to take. And if we think about even my comments on kind of sentence level issues in grammar, all of that is really connected to how to become a better student. right? And so there is this way of thinking about a course like this one as uh, as preparatory. This is a, a preparatory course for doing better in your academic career. However, there's a lot of stuff that we did in here that I hope moved us away from just thinking about the academic environment. And that's what I'm getting at with this line here, this life, life, life. Right? If you think about how we started the course, uh, I had assigned all of you to do an op-ed. And the strangest thing about that assignment was how hard it was for a lot of students to craft an op-ed. And it's precisely because so much of our academic kind of classroom training is this school, school, school thing. And so a lot of you in your first draft of your op-ed actually MLA formatted the op-ed as if in the real world, the way that we present information is MLA formatted. Right? And I use that example because it points to something really fascinating for me, right? that when we're in the academic environment, we necessarily begin to think in solely academic ways. And I would hope that in a course like this, we can see that there are ways of thinking that take us beyond just what's going to benefit you in the classroom. And so if we think about a lot of the assignments, everything from the op-ed to the assignment about how different discourses work in the world, not how they work in the classroom, but how they work in the world. If we think about the assignment about how artifacts from everyday life contain agendas, hopefully you can see that these ways of thinking are not ways of thinking that are necessarily going to push you forward academically, although they can't hurt, but these are ways of thinking that I would hope would poison you Right? That would help you just kind of go through your everyday life and think about things in ways differently than you may have before. Right? That's the hope of a course like this. That, yeah, you can sharpen some of those writing skills and you can sharpen your reasoning skills and that in sharpening those skills, you'll become a better writer in your classes that you take. But I would also hope that we can sharpen our skill, our critical thinking skills, we can sharpen our writing skills, we can sharpen our ability to think about how the conversations that we have in everyday life work, about how the writing that we do in everyday life functions, about how the artifacts that surround us build arguments. Right? That's the hope of a course like this. And so I hope that when you reflect back on this course, there may be some concepts and some ideas that you can potentially take with you. Take them to your next course, for sure. But also, put them in your back pocket for everyday life. Take good care.